Yo, what's up guys, it's Cyprian here, and today I am showing you how to make a hole in the map, or the landscape, or like even a cave. Kind of like this, but an actual cave, because that's just literally black box. So, uh, here's an example in my own thing. You might not think there's a hole here, but there actually is. And uh, that bit underneath is just literally a black box. So, you know, I do know what I'm talking about, and the reason I'm doing this is because I had no idea how to do it, and I found tutorials on the internet that were very hard to understand just not uh, explained for amateurs and people that really didn't know this stuff in the first place so uh, yeah here's the long and the short of it so uh, you know you just go to the uh, landscape editor visibility and then you just go whoop, you wait for it to compile shaders and as you can see, uh, it's not finished compiling, but it is pretty much done. There's a hole in the map. Uh, so, and then you add your rocks underneath and all that if you want to make a cave. With me, what I've done is I've made a secret base down here. By the way, this is actually a basis from the uh, my own game that I am making. You can check out the weekly progress for that. And you can actually give your own input into what you think would be good in there. You know, I'm just trying to make it a very uh, player-friendly game and just a fun experience for everybody. For me making the game because I get to talk to you guys and find out what you like and challenge myself. And then for you guys because you guys get to play a game that you technically had a part in. Uh, but anyway, let's take that off because I don't want to ruin my beautiful landscape. And uh, But the issue is with that, there's a hell of a lot of stuff to... Uh, that comes with it so let's click on landscape oops go off that click on landscape go on details so now you have to have a separate uh, material for both the landscape and the whole material so what i've got is this is my landscape material and this is my whole material now it may look a bit complicated but here's all you need to know uh this is literally just so i don't have to put in all the huge material uh, uh uh, structs in and all that so this is set to opaque and that's all you need to know from that literally just all you need to know and then uh new uh and then this is sent uh, set to masked so now here's what i'm going to show you stop it uh, here's what i'm going to show you i'm literally going to show you how to do it from scratch so let's open a new level okay this is one i'm gonna work on soon let's just start from the basics so over here, uh, let's create a new small landscape. Here we go. And now uh, let's just take any of these basic materials. So I think you can get all of these from uh, for, uh, for free. Okay, so let's just use the uh, the gold material. Uh, so we have metal gold one, boop, and metal gold two. There you are, beautiful. And what we're gonna do first is a landscape chord node. That kind of just uh, puts everything where it is and sets up the tiling too, so that it's like it doesn't um, tile uh, that up. I can cover that in a separate video, but let's apply that. And remember, this bit over here, set to opaque. Oh uh, well, this is going to be the normal material now. It doesn't really matter. But um, let's add in another landscape layer quartz node and. Link it up to the UVs of both the normal map and the other one. Uh, you'd have to do this to all of them if you had like roughness ones that's with specific shapes and all that. But on this one, remember, we've got a switch it to masked. And what do we actually get off the mask? So you type in landscape just like with your chords node. But what we do is visibility, a landscape visibility mask. And that just sets it up uh, to be this sort of thing for the landscape. So now let's do what I said previously. Uh, let's go to, let's click off this, click onto place. So it doesn't be a bit spooky and funny and all that. And let's just grab this. So I accidentally switched two of them over like the pleb I am, but that is fine. You guys are all going to subscribe and follow me on social medias like Instagram, Twitter and uh, Facebook all that you know uh, and it's all gonna be good but we can close those up now and voila but what do we do from here remember you go from place to uh, landscape and you can press shift 3 if you're into your keyboard shortcuts 
I forget stuff a lot, so I'm just gonna chill. Okay, sculpt and visibility tool. Remember, you paint with your um, with this tool, but we're just trying to sculpt for today. We're just uh, trying to make a hole in the map. So, there you go. And by the way, you can't add like a bit underneath for a flooring, because what the uh, this thing is, this landscape, it's actually a height map, which means that it literally just records the highest point. So you can't have a bit underneath the height map that is part of this because that won't be a height map because it take you get what I'm saying you know it take both both and that's just not what height map is height map would just like literally uh, get the highest points point that is at that that section so let's sculpt it a bit oh, oh it's a bit weak. Now that that is actually quite a nice, uh, like strength for general landscaping, uh, but just for this uh, kind of tutorial, let's. Uh, but here's your little uh, golden volcano. Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point, but I think you guys get the gist. To remember, the most important things are a landscape visibility mask, turning your whole material to masked and that is literally it honestly honestly uh now just stick around to see how my game progresses and put your own input in or just uh for interesting and informative videos like this or just comment down below what you actually want to see you know maybe you're having an issue with getting your um uh you know your materials tiling on the floor so you look far away and all of them are in like blocks instead of a nice fluid material or maybe you want your materials to align your walls so it doesn't look a bit odd uh you know i can teach you that too so uh just leave your comments down below uh be nice to me please and uh have a good day bye